All right, welcome back everybody to part two of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. And um, before I move on to the to the fifth and final reaction, which is the Friedel, Friedel Crafts acylation, I want to uh, tell you guys something about the Friedel Crafts alkylation. And the same thing applies for the Friedel Crafts acylation, that the reaction will not work if NH2, NH2, NO2, or a strong electron of the withdrawing group is present on the aromatic ring. So if you start off the Friedel Crafts alkylation and say your benzene ring has a NH2 or say it has an NO2 or even a strong ele electron withdrawing group, the result of this reaction will be no reaction. Okay, you'll write that down. You will not draw a product because it cannot work. Okay, this applies to the Friedel Crafts acylation also. So just again, I'm going to repeat again that this reaction, Friedel Crafts alkylation and uh, Friedel Crafts acylation, will not work if your aromatic ring, the thing that you're starting off with, has a NH2, NO2, or a strong electron withdrawing group on it present. So now that I have got that out of the way, let's talk about the Friedel Crafts acylation. Okay, and the Friedel Crafts acylation, excuse me, is basically. You have your aromatic ring, like always. The reagents used is an acyl group, so Cl. You have a carbonyl group, and I'm gonna put an R here. And now, what does the R mean? Like I, in the other videos I've discussed, R could be any type of alkyl group. So it could be methyl, propyl, isopropyl. It could be a phenyl group, an aromatic ring. So it can be any variation of an, an alkyl group and this is very important for synthesis type of reactions because you could put any type of group you want here that's an alkyl group so I'm gonna put it in the most generic form which is the Cl attached to a carbonyl group uh, and uh, you have an R for anything any type of alkyl group and the reagents is this acyl group and ALCL3. Now you could have BR here and you'll use ALBR3. So the product of this reaction will be you have your aromatic ring and then you have a ketone type of product, which are R right here. And that's basically your Friedel Crafts. Acylation. Let's talk about the mechanism right quick. The mechanism, pretty straightforward. So you have your Cl the carbonyl and the R, and then you have your Al Cl3. There's no tricks and turns to this. Um, the double bond and the electron and the chlorine are going to attach to this aluminum. The product of this step will be this intermediate, this carbonyl intermediate. You have your R here, you have a positive at that carbon, this carbon right here. So this carbon right here has a positive charge on it. And you'll form plus Al Cl4 minus, okay? So that's the uh, intermediate you form in this Friedel Crafts acylation. Now again, you have your aromatic ring, right? You have your aromatic ring. Let's make this a little bit darker. And a pair of electrons from the aromatic ring attack the carbon with the positive. The result of this step, like always, is this intermediate, the aromatic ring, with the acyl group attached to it now and a positive charger here and again you guys should guess what's going to happen next and it's elimination you have a hydrogen here it's going to form a double bond here and you regenerate your aromatic ring and now you have this uh, ketone type of group here 
R. And that is your Friedel Crafts acylation. You add an acyl group to this, uh, to this aromatic ring. And again, like I stated earlier, for the Friedel Crafts alkylation, that this reaction will not work if your starting material, this aromatic ring, has a NH2, NO2, and or a strong electron withdrawing group present on it. So let's do a quick recap and in the next part I'll, I'll discuss what are some strong what are some examples of strong electron donating groups uh, some strong electron withdrawing groups and how does that play in effect and a role in the reaction in the reactions I've discussed so far so let's go a little recap okay so the first reaction that we talked about was the halogenation right halogenation starts off with aromatic ring and the reagents used is BR2 it could be Cl2 and you have FeBr3 or it could be FeCl3 you add a BR group on their mechanism basically pretty straightforward you form a positive BR from this step a pair of electrons from the aromatic ring attack the BR. You form this intermediate right here, this aromatic uh, intermediate with a positive charge on one of the carbons. A little elimination step. You reform the aromatic ring and generate this aromatic ring with a BR attached to it. So that's your first step. Uh, I mean, that's your first uh, reaction. Now, the next reaction is nitration. You have the aromatic ring, reacts with HNO3 and H2SO4 to give you an aromatic ring with an NO2 group hanging off of it. Any carbon, since it could hang off of any carbon, since the starting material, the aromatic ring, has no substituents on it to direct the positioning of the NO2. So the NO2 will not discriminate between this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, this carbon, or this carbon. It could attach to any of these carbons. Okay. Same thing applies to this third reaction, sulfonation you're going to add a SO3H group and you'll lose an, and all these just to get this clear clear when I say add I don't mean it as this being an addition reaction I just say it because it's part of my uh, the way I describe things it's a substitution reaction so you lose an H in this reaction and all the reaction you lose an H is substituted with the group you're trying to add into it again you lose an H, you substitute SO3 and it has an H attached to it so SO3H is the group that you add and this is a sulfonation reaction the fourth one uh, is right here Friedel uh, Crafts alkylation you have this aromatic ring to start off with um, you have an alkyl halide ALCl3 it could be a alkyl halide with bromine it will be ALCl I mean ALBR3, any alkyl halide type of uh, starting material it could be. Okay, it could be even iodine. Okay, and um, the product will be rearranged. the The alkyl group will rearrange itself to form a more stable carbocation intermediate, and that's what's going to be uh, substituted into the aromatic ring. That's what's going to be added into the aromatic ring. And the mechanism for this is pretty straightforward. Um, a pair of electrons in the chlorine are going to add to the aluminum with the three chlorines. You form this intermediate, carbocation intermediate. A little bit of rearrangement going on. Uh, you have a hydride shift. You form a secondary carbocation intermediate. A pair of electrons from the aromatic ring will attack here. You'll form an isopropyl group little elimination step here you lose the hydrogen you reform the double bond and you generate your aromatic ring with an isopropyl group attached to it again reaction will not work if NH2, NO2 or a strong electron withdrawing group is present there's no strong electron withdrawing groups or NH2 or NO2 present so this reaction will occur excuse me Friedel Krauss alkylation aromatic ring and you have your your ACL group 
ALCO3 as another part of the reagents. You form the aromatic ring with this ketone type uh, ketone type of thing added onto it. And what the mechanism again, pretty straightforward. Um, pair of electrons in the chlorine adds into this ALCO3. Uh, you generate this type of carbocation intermediate ALCL4 minus. A uh, pair of electrons from the aromatic ring attack this ACO group. You generate this intermediate with this uh, positive charge, little elimination step, and um, you form this uh, product, aromatic ring, with this carbonyl group in R. And R could be any type of group. And again, any the R could be any type of alkyl group. And again, this reaction will not work if you have NO2, NH2, or a strong electron withdrawing group present on the aromatic ring. And there you have it, those are the five uh, reactions that occur with aromatic rings. And uh, for the next part, I'll be discussing some strong electron withdrawing groups, weak electron withdrawing groups, donating groups, and all that good stuff. So please uh, stay tuned. Thank you.